and a welcome to Wild Arms 3 Day 2. How's everybody doing today? I don't know. It's a little bad in the weather. Like, probably gotta take a fly here with no. I just didn't start late. I just didn't want to cancel days again. I was like, you know what? Why don't just. Uh, retired to it and nope. So I was like, you know what? I'll just. Oops, sorry. But. But you know what? I'll just still at least see. Try to get something done a little bit. These last two. Uh, introductions, and then, uh, we'll go for there, we'll get me, Mike, but we'll still be in the chat, so yeah, uh, do these. Thank <laughs> you. 
I hate doing this, but I'm gonna end here. I just really, I just, I don't know. I just, just I'm not really enjoying this. I've been trying this. It's funny. I say it was just like, but it's just, the story is so bleh. It's no, <sighs> and not being having a, like no, no, you know, no, no dub or no voice and over is not really helping. It's like. It's like, yeah, I just, I don't know, it's like, really not making it interesting enough, like, to continue, it's like, it's, it's, like, it's like the first battle to get killed, and it's like, this is the third, this is two stars, and this is three stars, like, I don't even want to know what this is, you know, like, fighting on that, like, sheesh. But, yeah, I hate doing it, but I am, I am tired, I tell you, it's really not really feeling up for Katana this right now. You know, this game's going. I think I think this I think what we'll do is Monday or maybe I'm going to take my lady off just to try to rest and then start Pokemon Arceus next week. Um, because I really want to get better because I got movies and Kevin Smith thing, like I said, next week. So, We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll think about what I want to do, but, I think what there is is that is afterwards we'll do all right there was this fish off the month a bit four percent of five five is uh we'll do it like a hobbit because I really I also want to do the the uh, like a Lord of the Rings, which... See, I didn't have an extra different third one. But...
I'm just doing some editing here. I'm just sorry. <laughs> yeah. I can always come back this game. I was not going anywhere, like I always said. But I hate. I always hate leaving games, but I'm not enjoying it. There's no reason to continue. You know. <laughs> really came in a bad time too. I'm not feeling up for it. Feeling up really good for it.
But yeah, again, apologize is the way they've gone. It just is what it is. I can't really help it. Um, but we'll be back tomorrow. We'll finish our playthrough like a Star Wars. Skywalker Saga. And then... Oh, and then Monday and Tuesday we'll start Pokemon Legend Arceus. Um, maybe I'll need to ride and we'll go back and try it again. I don't know. Maybe I'll try off cast again. I don't know. You know, I've never. Wednesday, hopefully, I'm on Wednesday, that was just 22, but probably not, because I um, okay, they got a BJ to take care of stuff. So there's. There's that guy I have to deal with. So, hopefully, get back in that, but probably won't. won't. Anyway, yeah.
holding on to the damn like, you know what? That's that's all I can just play to one of these and I hell we can. Byron, gonna love this. It's time to party. <laughs> One of my favorites. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from out of Sofa. In at 25 pounds. He's the continental champion. Multiple team titles. And key to be the best dancer in the WWE history. This whole thanks, Corey. Won a number of dance contests. You guys know I used to watch Rikishi tapes from my age. Hey, Corey, what do you think dance about contest. Rikishi's career? I think Rikishi is one of the most fun-loving, dominant WWE superstars we have ever seen. Deceptively agile, hard, and no one has more than a big man. What about me? Say it off. This is not permission for you. Oh, that landed. 
Watch off is being taken apart here. Marquis isn't giving any clue. Double axe handle. He's placed in the corner now. Trapped in the no way out. Do we see from Rikishi tonight? If you want to look at this, how bad intentions coming with this. his cop. If he tapped it out right here, right? It might be the smart move. And watch this. Letting him be. Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. Left side. Rikishi is taking a cop. Pushing apart. Rich digging deep into his playbook, utilizing some offense to great effect. Trap corner, no way out. Shot. Well measured. on the wrong side of the exchange. For the rock. Rape the rock rock. Clawing four. Attacks back there. Not, not a pretty sight.
some would say this super thinks a little too much, but the tape doesn't lie. This series is there for any title. They need to lose up, have a little fun. Heck, maybe lose a This guy lives to compete, so he'll be treating this match as he were defending the title. trying to end someone's career. Dodges out of the way. Oh. 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 Any one of these hats could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can cut has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long-term effects. Oh. Standing drop kick. Great up. He may be in a bad way here. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. The home man, ladies and gentlemen, batter up. And back in the ring we go. This one is headed outside, guys. Drop kick hits the mark. <laughs> Wards off that offense from Priest. Thought oh, uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. And Priest is brought to a disadvantage now. Priest has to find a way to right the ship here. <laughs> That's it. Calling it by knockout. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the costs against the benefits. 
I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Introducing the champion. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steve, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship and a new chapter is written tonight. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. What's he open to find down there? WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. And he's able to fight Priest off. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. Getting back into the ring. Now on the outside, right by those cell walls. Oh! God. What's he open to find down there? Now we're talking. This sledgehammer might be what decides this match. Ooh, what an uppercut. Sure. Ooh. He turns it around. for something beneath the ring. And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. Bam! Oh! Quick thinking pays off. And guys, that sound of flesh on steel is going to give you nightmares. It's just echoing in my head. He gets back into the ring. He got whipped into that corner. Priest gets countered. 
Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Oh, ooh. oh man. All right, then. Guess this madman's climbing up the cell. Can't have anything good in store with that strategy. He's got something in mind here. I don't think I want to know what it is. This is rather reckless of him, wouldn't you say? This whole match is reckless, but necessary. He has scaled to the top of the cell. There's no easy way down now. This is beyond dangerous. This is more than reckless. No one should be up there, let alone performing these maneuvers. Byron, is it possible to devise a game plan as a competitor when you're embarking on a journey through hell? Competitors must resign themselves to the fact that doing battle in this torturous structure means their mind. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Nice takedown. Every fall on top of the cell is like putting your flesh through a meat grinder. Got it cinched Wait. in. This could be uh -oh. it. Oh, my God, a small package driver. Deep, deep trouble here for Priest. Brings down his opponent, and here it is, Cody. Looking for the LaBelle lock. LaBelle lock, is he going to tap? This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage. Tap all you want, but in this case, a surrender does not grant you a reprieve. Nice takedown. We knew what we were in for with this matchup, but we didn't think the hell was going to be let loose above the cell. Oh, big oh. impact. Priest able to adapt. Priest finally finding an answer to that onslaught. That could be the spark Damien was looking for. As it hooked, hit the lights. Another one bites the dust for the champ. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Hell of a mountain, gentlemen, and these poor souls are duking it out at the summit. Oh, Rick, right I'm mad. Face first. That's certain. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This championship match just turned into a crime scene. I don't know how this match can go on. Fighting back with a counter. Here he goes, right up the side of the cell. Making it look easy. Remember, though, in many cases, coming down is the truly hard part. Safety clearly isn't a concern for him right now. How can it be in this type of match? At the top of the cell now. Why? Why? He finally made it to the top of the cage after a long, hard climb. Yeah, but Saxton, I have a feeling the hard part's just beginning. Are these superstars even aware of the peril they're in? I think they have blinders on, Saxton. I don't think they're completely aware of their surroundings. They just have tunnel vision for each other. Cabo finds the mark. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Warm up the engine on the ambulance. I got a very bad feeling about where these competitors are going to end up soon. Set him up. Leaving himself open here. Yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. And Priest spins him off. Re-entering the ring now. Standing drop kick. It up. 
And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. Ooh, sharp elbow. protecting himself from attacks to that area. One wicked attack after another. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. And you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Oh, hell into the table. And the momentum's clearly against Priest now. Yeah, Priest needs to shift wherever his focus is over to the task at hand. 